If the U.S. leader chooses to meet with the Dalai Lama at this time, it will certainly threaten trust and cooperation between China and the U.S. Chinese officials have stated that a meeting between President Obama and the controversial Tibetan leader would be seen as a sign of disrespect. China wants the U.S. to remember that Tibet is a Chinese territory and not a separate country. We're looking at international sources from China Central Television, Fox News, Al Jazeera English, CNN, and China Daily to determine whether China's threats are idle or intense. China warned that a meeting would not be in the U.S.'s best economic interest, and Fox News discusses how big of a threat that really is. We are now so over leveraged and so dependent on other countries showing up when we issue our treasury auctions that it starts to affect foreign policy. Could any of those issues anger China enough to stop loaning us money? Experts worry that we borrow so much we're extremely vulnerable to pressure if China decides to exercise it. But on Al Jazeera English, author Gordon Chang disagrees, saying that the U.S. has some bargaining power too. In 2008, more than 90 percent of China's overall trade surplus related to sales to the U.S. And in 2009, China's export dependence on the U.S. actually increased. And that's the reason why they don't actually try to use these trade weapons, because they know it won't work. And if it doesn't work, then we're going to understand basically the, the fundamental nature of this relationship with China, where the U.S. has much more power than China does. On CNN, Democratic strategist Donna Brazil said that giving in to China's demands would signal a sad day for the U.S. You know, the day that we kowtow or bow to any other foreign nation just because they own some of our debt would be a, a, a terrible statement that we could make as Americans. I hope he meets with the Dalai Lama. Uh, the Dalai Lama is, a, is, is more than just a spiritual leader. He is a, the leader of a movement, uh, of a leader of a people. So I, I'm glad that he plans to meet with the Dalai Lama. But in the state-run China Daily, an editorial says President Obama will make himself look bad if he meets with the Dalai Lama. As the president of the world's only superpower, Obama is free to meet anybody at any time on his own soil. But just don't paint this farce with a moral hue. We call that audacity of shame. So is the U.S. right to meet with the Dalai Lama? Or is President Obama disregarding the wishes of a partner too important to ignore? I'm Ryan Takeo, Newsy.com. Multiple sources, the real story.